Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. In the previous video, we have learned how to install the software. Now, let's move ahead and learn where we can write the instruction, also known as code, where we can click to get our instructions done, also known as running the code, and where to get the result of the task or the output. So, let's get started. Here, in this section of the software is where we will write our code. This button right over here, if we click this button, whatever instructions has been written would be executed. And this area over here is where we can see the output or the result of the task that has been performed by the computer. Let's start by writing our very first code that is to print hello world. Let me go ahead and clear the code editor. This is the place where we write the code. So I have cleared it. Now we'll write the print command. The print command is written as print with simple brackets and inside this we can write whatever we want to print. So this is like a function or you can say it is like a command that has already been defined. What you have to do is you just have to use this command. So I'll just go and write here hello world. Now I would run the program. Once I run the program you can see that here hello world is being printed. Now, if you see, we have written hello world inside a double quotation mark. We can also write inside a single quotation mark that is print hello world. Now, if we run this, then also we are going to get the same output or the result. You can check it in the output space over here. Now, we have a few things that we need to remember. The first one is, you can use single quotes or double quotes inside the print command. But if you start with a single quote, you have to end with a single quote. And if you start with a double quote, you have to end with a double quote. Something like print. Concepts made simpler is not defined. You can see a red line below it which indicates that there is an error. So you must always remember when we start with a double quote, we have to end with a double quote. If we start with a single quote, we have to end with a single quote. So now I'm, since I have replaced it with this double quote and if I run it, we can see that concepts made simpler is being printed. Now, one more thing. Print should always be written in lowercase. That is something like print is not defined. Or something like print is also not acceptable. The way the computer would understand is when the entire print is written in lowercase. Something like capital print or if P is capital and rest is small will not be accepted and you can see both of them has error in it. But if I write the entire print in small letters, we can see that there is no error for that particular line. So this is these are a few points that you need to remember. And I would advise you to please make a note of it. Also, like any other language, this is also a language. And the more you practice, the better you get. So, I would suggest you to please pause this video and try to print your name. I hope you are being able to print the name and just try to run it and see if your name is being printed in this area over here. So this is pretty much it for this video guys. I hope you really like this video and you were able to follow it. If you have any doubts or if you are not being able to print your name, 
please write it down in the comment section below and for more such videos please keep watching our channel and i hope you know the drill please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you like share subscribe press the bell icon and follow us on instagram to get notifications for our latest videos